Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss converting fractions to decimals and converting decimals to fractions. The specific objectives we will cover are convert decimals to fractions, convert fractions to decimals. Let's look at a couple of exercises in which we convert a decimal to a fraction. Let's convert this decimal to a fraction. The easiest way to convert a decimal to a fraction is to think of the decimal in words and then write it in fractional form. Point 68 is actually 68 hundredths. So 68 hundredths as a fraction will be 68 one hundredths. Both the top and bottom are divisible by 4, so we will divide the numerator, 68 by 4. We will divide the denominator, 100 by 4, and we will obtain 17 over 25 in lowest terms. So, point 68, 68 hundredths in lowest terms is 17 over 25. Okay, let's convert another decimal to a fraction. We have the decimal point 0085. Let's convert that to a fraction. Again, the easiest way to convert this to a fraction is to notice that this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths place. So this decimal is 85 ten thousandths. Writing that as a fraction, we have 85 over 10,000, or 85 ten thousandths. Both the numerator and denominator are divisible by 5, so we will divide 85 by 5. We will divide 10,000 by 5, and we obtain 17 over 2,000. So in lowest terms, 0 0.0085, 85 ten thousandths, written as a fraction, is 17 two thousandths. Now let's look at a couple of examples in which we convert fractions to decimals. Now let's convert the fraction 5 6 to a decimal. In order to convert this to a decimal, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we're going to divide 6 into 5. Of course, we will need to place a decimal here and bring that decimal up, and we will place zeros after the decimal point until either there is no remainder or the desired degree of accuracy is reached. So we will place a zero. Six will go into 50 eight times. Eight times six is 48. We will subtract. We will add another zero. Six divides into 20. 3 times, 3 times 6 is 18, 20 subtract 18 is 2, add another 0, 3 times 6 is 18, subtract, we obtain 20, add another 0, and you will see that this is a repeating decimal, and so if we want this fraction written to a decimal to two decimal places, we will see that this is 0.8. 3 or 83 one hundredths. 5 6 rounded to two decimal places is 83 one hundredths. Now let's convert 14 twenty fifths to a decimal. Once again, we will divide 25 into 14. We will need to place our decimal and bring it up. We will add however many zeros we need. 25 divided into 140 is 5. 5 times 25 is 125. We subtract and obtain 15. We add another 0. 25 divided into 150 is 6. 6 times 25 is 150. So this divides evenly with a remainder of 0. 
So 14 25ths to two decimal places is 56 one hundredths or 0.56. In this section, we have looked at several examples of converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So now it's time for you to try a few of these conversions on your own.